Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 129. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Nitrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Articles 36 to 51 of our constitution are related to which of the following? The correct answer is Directive principles of state policy, which are the guidelines or principles given to the federal institutes governing the state of India, to be kept in citation while framing laws and policies. These provisions, contained in Part 4 of the Constitution of India, are not enforceable by any court, but the principles laid down therein are considered irrefutable in the governance of the country, making it the duty of the state to apply these principles in making laws to establish a just society in the country. The principles have been inspired by the directive principles given in the Constitution of Ireland relating to social justice, economic welfare, foreign policy and legal and administrative matters. Which among the following is true about the tenure of the India's president? The correct answer is he is elected for five years but eligible for immediate re-election and can serve for any number of terms. The President may remain in office for a tenure of five years, as stated by Article 56, Part 5 of the Constitution of India. In the case where a President's term of office is terminated early or during the absence of the President, the Vice President assumes office. All Union territories are under the President of India. This comes under which of the following powers of President? The correct answer is Executive and Administrative Power. The Constitution explicitly assigns the President the power to sign or veto legislation, command the armed forces, ask for the written opinion of their cabinet, convene or adjourn Congress, grant reprieves and pardons, and receive ambassadors. Which among the following is not a legislative power of the President of India? The correct answer is sanction given to introduction of money bills. Sanction given to introduction of money bills comes under financial powers. A vice president is elected by members of electoral college consisting of the members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha both. The vice president is elected indirectly by the members of an electoral college consisting of the members of both houses of parliament in accordance with the system of proportional representation by means of the single transferable vote and the voting is by secret ballot conducted by election commission. Which among the following is known as Upper House? The correct answer is Rajya Sabha. The members of Lok Sabha are elected directly by the people of India through democratic elections. On the other hand, the members of Rajya Sabha are not directly elected. Twelve are nominated by the President and the rest are representatives of states and union territories. Hence, the Lok Sabha is called the Lower House of the Parliament of India, whereas the Rajya Sabha is called the Upper House. A bill becomes an act when it is passed by the original house after making suggested amendments by the other house and the president has given his or her assent to it. A bill is a draft of a legislative proposal which has to pass through various stages before it becomes an act of parliament. The legislative process starts with the introduction of a bill in either house of parliament that is Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha and once passed in both houses, the bill needs to get assent of the president to become an act. Which amendment of the constitution is related to reorganization of states on linguistic basis? The correct answer is 7th amendment. The State Reorganization Act was enacted on 31st August 1956 before it came into effect on 1st November. An important amendment was made to the constitution of India. Under the 7th Amendment, the existing distinction among Part A, B, C and D states was abolished. The territories of Goa, Daman and Diu were incorporated in the Indian Constitution by which Amendment Bill? The correct answer is 12th Amendment 1962. The 12th Amendment of Constitution of India, officially known as the Constitution 12th Amendment Act 1962, incorporated Goa, Daman and Diu as the 8th Union Territory of India by amending the first schedule to the Constitution of India. India acquired control of Goa, Daman and Diu from Portugal in December of 1961. In which state EV machines were first used? The correct answer is Kerala. They were first used in 1982 in the by-election to North Paravur Assembly constituency in Kerala 
for a limited number of polling stations. The EVMs were first time used on an experimental basis in selected constituencies of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Delhi. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.